us again this morning to share with you the word of God from a distance. In Acts chapter 2, verse 1, the Bible says, When the day of Pentecost fully fulfilled, they were in one accord and in one place. Mark the word one accord and in one place. Today, even if we cannot be in one place, it is obvious that we'll be in one accord. What made the strength of the church is being in one accord, one spirit, one mindset, one ideology. When the church were in one accord, the church become so powerful. When the church become, uh, were in one accord, the church become so powerful to terrify the kingdom of darkness. At a time, Herod was terrorizing the church, was traumatizing the church. But when the church gathered in one place, they began to pray. The Bible said his activities were aborted. He could not do what he was doing before. He, the, 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 his activity was stopped by the prayers of the church. So as a church, I encourage you this week, whether you be two or three, whether you be alone, knowing that there are people that are in one accord with you in the spirit, as he said to uh, uh, Elijah, even at this point in time that uh, Ahab have terrorized my prophet, but I still have men that have the same spirit, even in different places. So I call and I summon on every one of you listening to me. It is time to be in one accord, even though we are not in one place. And you will see us uh, uh, destroying the works of darkness. You will see us stopping the activities of the enemy. Even as the early church stopped the activity of Herod, we also can stop the activity of the enemy that is going on on planet Earth today. I therefore pray in the name of Jesus, the spirit and the power to, to be in one accord and to be in one spirit, to be in one accord and in one spirit be given to you in the name of Jesus. Receive the strength to be in one accord and in one spirit, in one language and in one tongue, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shalom. Have a nice day.